What if I were to tell you that one of the best tools for marketing your game was actually free to make and has been around since the 80s? You see, a picture says a thousand words, and if you could put 24 or 48 pictures into one image, then you could say a whole lot more words. And that's exactly what GIFs are. They allow you to say a whole lot in a very small package. And I'm about to give you five more solid reasons why you should be using them and things to keep in mind when making your own. I'm Alec Miller, founder of Rose and Rogues, and I've been in the creative slash marketing business for over 10 years. I also owned my own GIF marketing place back when I thought you could sell the damn things. So reason number one why you should have animated GIFs is motion is life. We cannot help but notice it. We're trained from a very young age to pay attention to things that move. If you see something in your peripheral vision that suddenly starts moving that wasn't, you instantly snap to see what it is because you don't want to be taken by surprise because you know there's something living over there or something moving. It triggers danger, it triggers many things in our body, and we instantly notice it. So if you're scrolling through an article or your social media and suddenly something starts moving, you're gonna take a split second to stop your scroll, take a look at it and see what it is that's catching your eye. That's gonna take us a little bit longer to interpret than just a still image. This is a good thing. It makes people pay attention to you. And if your moving image is interesting enough, it can make them investigate further. A bonus to this is that just play automatically. So there's no need for the user to have to click a play button. While a lot of sites are adding this for videos, it still doesn't happen when you share those videos via messenger or in a text. Which brings me to reason number two, shareability. Almost nothing is as shareable as a GIF. GIFs are compatible pretty much everywhere. They require almost no effort from the user, either the sharer or the share e, in order to engage with. They don't have to hit play, they don't have to turn on their volume, they don't have to scrub through, and it's a very, very small time commitment. Meaning, yeah, we'll watch through it a couple of times, rather than me just ignoring it to save for later like I would if my friend sent me a link to a video. You'll wanna optimize your shareability by showing something really unique or unexpected. Something that triggers the person to be like, oh my gosh, I have to send this to such and such. A good example of this is Dark Souls. You see these shared all over the place. I've had tons of friends share Dark Souls GIFs that never have played the game just because there's something interesting or shocking or exciting that they weren't expecting that made it just a great moment. Try to find as many moments like this in your game as possible and share them everywhere you can. Chances are one of them will take off. This brings me to reason number three, which is communication. You can say a whole lot about your game in a very small amount of time. It's sort of a ways to have a GIF be the same thing as a still image, but looping. Instead, use this to show something really interesting that'd normally be hard to communicate or wouldn't come across quite the same in a still image. A great example of this is something like a parry system. It's really hard to see how a parry works in a still image. But with a GIF, it makes it pretty clear. You see the character attack, you see the other character hit the parry, and then you see the reaction. And you can see how a still image just wouldn't do the same thing justice. Reason number four is something a lot of people miss, and that's community. You can actually establish the tone and feel for how people talk about your game with a series of animated GIFs. The more you talk about your game, the more that tone is gonna be shared between your users. The type of the GIFs you show, whether they're funny or entertaining or snarky or show glitches or weird things happening in your game, it's gonna develop a tone. And if you don't choose that yourself, if you don't aid in that, it's gonna run away without you. Again, Dark Souls is a good example of this. They didn't create their own community with their GIFs. The community created it themselves. They shared them dying over and over again. They shared crazy sneak attacks, as well as ganking other players and fun mechanics that were unexpected. This ended up developing a culture of camaraderie around death and failure, as well as this kind of side culture of get good, and even the fun-loving culture of Dark Souls, which is the do you even praise the sun group of people. All this culture was primarily built on the back of GIFs. It doesn't feel the same when you fall off a ledge and die if you just show a picture of the you died screen or the monster hitting you. But if you can play out the whole sequence of events, it ends up being tragic or hilarious. So now we're finally at point number five, which is fundamentally what makes GIFs so valuable. And that's that they're really fun while being very low effort. It takes almost nothing to make a GIF. It's no cost to you as a developer, simply a few minutes of your time capturing some footage and uploading it to a converter. That's it. If you wanna get fancy, you can use programs like GIF Gun and After Effects to make them even better or Photoshop. But really all you need to do is just find a GIFable moment, 
upload that and you're off to the races. The fact that more companies aren't using GIFs constantly in all their marketing materials is kind of baffling to me. Um, I see plenty of small game developers completely miss out on doing this. They can even be on your game's Steam library page. So just go out there and make them. Encourage your fans to make them. If you can, build in a way to capture GIFs in your game. Towerfall Ascension did this brilliantly. The developers knew there'd be plenty of crazy moments in this game where they'd eke out a win or want to share a crazy shot. And so they built in a GIF generator into their game. It worked out brilliantly. Even though I don't have any empirical evidence, I'm gonna say it was worth it. I shared many clips of my wins and losses to my friends and I know that they did the same. As a bonus, let's break down a GIF I found from Overwatch that I think is a great example of many of the things I talked about. So we start out with a Hammond zoom in, which is just a fantastic memeable moment and builds community, like I said. It shows the lighthearted nature of Overwatch. That's already a fantastic place to be. It's already GIFable. You could just have it literally be that. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have sent that to each other alone without the rest of this. Then we get into a battle. We quickly understand what's going on. There's Hammond rolling around. He grappling hooks on and kills two characters by knocking them into a train, winning the round. Um, that's super impressive, as well as being a crazy thing that you didn't know perhaps you could do. So it has the surprise element, it has the idea of communicating something very complex very quickly, and it's super shareable. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Dude, would you look at this? And showing moments like that are exactly what you want to do and want your community to do with your game. You could even include something like this in a press release to just show how varied your gameplay is and that while it is a first person shooter you in fact can kill people by grappling hooking onto a wall and knocking them into a train um which is very hard to say in an article imagine trying to write what just happened well we have a very complex system of characters that have movement abilities as well as physics interactions and if you take a character and you do something with hammond where you lock onto something you can wheel him around hitting instead you can just say we have a variety of movement abilities that augment your combat skills and in fact sometimes can be used in interesting ways to win games. If you include something like this along with your text, it makes for a fantastic article slash press release with a key moment that people can share with each other. So if you were doubting the power of GIFs or just thinking it was not worth the effort, I hope this changed your mind. If it was valuable at all to you, feel free to hit the like button and hit subscribe as we're going to be breaking down many more ways to market your video games and some tools that you probably didn't realize you had. I'm Alec Miller, founder of Rails and Rogues, and I'll see you in the next one.